you guys welcome back today oh do I have some reviews for you so today we are going to be doing a new shop my stash video if you're not familiar with that basically I do a shop my stash every two ish weeks and I go through the products that I've been kind of focusing on for the last two weeks it's not stuff that I necessarily have used every day but most of the time unless like I'm trying out new makeup or whatever I try to use these as much as possible and I tell you what I think about them and then um, at the end, we go through my stash and pick out products for the next two weeks. So if you're interested in just that, I will leave a timestamp down below like I always do. All the products that I mentioned today will be linked down below. Um, and these reviews, you guys, let me tell you. So the entire reason that I started Shop My Stash was, um, first of all, to make sure that I was using the products that I already had in my collection. And second of all, to make sure that I was using a variety of products and I wasn't just sticking to like, you know, old faithfuls. And then third of all, I wanted to make sure that like there are other reasons but, like these are the top three right I wanted to make sure that I was mixing and matching products and like trying different things with different things and kind of seeing how they worked and not just sticking to like the same routine okay this week this round has been a disaster I am so done like I cannot begin to describe to you how Oh my god. And like a week ago I was on Instagram going, I'm so bored with this. Like first of all, I'm bored. This round is incredibly boring. Second of all, I don't like how the products perform together at all. It just leaves me with like this very flat, almost cakey thing. And I've switched out some products and I've tried different things. And like literally, these products just don't work well together in my opinion for me. So I'm going to kind of go through and tell you what I think. In my last Shop My Stash, I had showed you guys my little new cubby for all of my Shop My Stash products. This is going wonderfully. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. So I'm definitely keeping this. Having like all of my skincare right here with my makeup and everything and my, my like everyday morning skincare has been phenomenal. Everything is so nicely organized. I even have a couple of skincare backups for things that I want to use next. I love it. It's so great. Um, the makeup was lacking. So let's go ahead and jump into that. I'm going to start with brows because that's what I do first. Um, I used the, oh my goodness, I used the It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder in Universal Transforming Taupe. This is a good powder, okay? It's a brow powder. I liked this powder, um, but you really, like, if you want kind of the glamour brows, this is not for you. Obviously, it's like very soft, natural brows, which normally I was okay with, but I did a lot of, like, more in-depth looks this round, and this was not a good match for the brows that I wanted. I also used the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, I like this, but I don't know. It, like, I don't know. I like it. I just don't know if I like these two... I don't know it, it's good this was this was a better part of this round but even so I would have gone with um, a little bit more glammed up brows in this round had I known what was going on I used the Alomar cosmetics Pero Primero primer it's a long wear sticky pigment base this is so sticky this did not work out the greatest for the eyeshadow palettes that I chose to use this time it was just too sticky um, I love this primer because it is a good primer. It is so tacky, but you really have to think about what palettes and what type of eye products you're going to use with this because I had several times that this just did not work. Um, everything lasted a long time, but it's difficult because this is so tacky. It's difficult to blend on it. So you really have to know what you're doing here. You really have to know what you're getting yourself into. I made it work, but... I don't know it was really tacky and I think that part of it was just because the palettes I used this time um, it was kind of my first time with them and again if I could go back I would pick out a different eye primer but I do like that primer you just you have to know what you're getting into um, for primer for face primer because I do oh well I guess I should let me tell you about the eyeshadow palettes okay I had two obviously I always pick out two I had ColourPop that's taupe I really liked this palette okay there's a lot of really nice looks that you can make with this palette it's a it's a really pretty palette um, it's very cool toned which is nice I think I did a lot of cute looks with this I liked it right this was the standout in this round this ColourPop palette it's a good palette I like it I would definitely use it again um, it, it was a good one. And then my second palette 
was the Natasha Denona Triochrome Palette. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have been watching me for a while or if you watch like my purchase or passes, then you might recognize this because this was brought up in a purchase or pass video um, when it first was launched. And I believe in that video I had talked about my mixed feelings with this palette because on one hand, it's pretty and um, I wanted it. But then if you actually look at the palette itself, these shades and these shades are just, okay. It's this row right here that really grabs your attention because these are gorgeous. And this shade right here, this Scarab shade, oh. This was my most used shade this week. I'm so sorry if I'm blinding you. Okay. So, um, I wasn't planning to purchase it. In that purchase or pass video, I think I said that I was going to pass on it unless I could find it in a good sale or something later on in the future, I might pick it up. When I bought this, I got this in a duo deal with this and the Biba palette, and I really wanted the Biba palette. So I ended up getting the duo deal because it was a pretty good price for both of them, considering the fact that these are incredibly expensive, just unnecessarily expensive palettes. Um, okay, so I feel like this is one of those moments where I really learned to trust my gut feeling about things. I don't like this palette. Like, it's okay. You can make really pretty looks with it, but I feel like they're all kind of like one note, I guess. And I wanna like this a lot more than I do. I just feel like there's a lot more that I should have been able to do with this palette. And I don't know, it just, it lacked inspiration for me. There's so many better palettes out there. It definitely is on the lower end as far as Natasha Denona palettes go. And I've been considering doing like a rating my Natasha Denona palettes. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. But this is like, it's pretty. I'll still use it. I still plan to keep it, right? Because I do like the palette itself. But as a whole, um, I, I wish that I had trusted my gut and just left it alone. Because it's not, definitely not worth the original price point to me. I didn't like it that much. For face makeup, uh, from Shop My Samples, I'm using this Tula Skincare Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Priming Gel. There's so much in this little guy. I genuinely thought this would be like a three day thing and it's been like a three week thing and there's still so much more left. So this I will be taking in the next round too, just because I'm trying to get this finished. But so far I'm liking it actually. It's actually a really nice primer. Um, and then finally, big news, um, I finished off all of the foundations that I had in the shit that don't fit and well the rest of them I ended up moving to my foundation drawer because I reorganized it but the point is is now I can go through and pick out foundations on a regular basis and you guys will get to see um, how I'm organizing my concealer foundation priming drawers now um, because I did change those up but I finished those off and I pulled in the Milani Screen Queen, which is a foundation that um, I've used before in the past, but like the packaging broke, so I got rid of it. And then I purchased a new one and I don't, you guys, I know that the Screen Queen is like, it has such good reviews and I've never heard anybody say anything bad about it and I cannot get it to work for me. I'm still playing around with it, I'm still trying it, but with this particular round of face makeup, it really didn't work. So I put it back, I used it for a couple days, realized that like it just was not going well and I had an issue specifically with the concealer that I was using around my nose area it would just like break apart like crazy but that didn't happen with the foundation that I finished up from the shit that don't fit that I started this round with it only happened with screen queen so I switched foundations again still didn't happen so screen queen was the issue I'm gonna figure it out but I switched over to the Tarte clay stick foundation this is in light medium neutral which is a bit yellow for me but I'm trying to use it up because I only have that much left. So I'm just trying to finish this off. I've had this before in a shade that was a bit of a better match for me. And I like the formula of this. It is like super thick though. So I'm going to pick out a new foundation today and we can kind of start fresh in that realm. Uh, for concealer, I was using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Fair Neutral. This one, it broke up when I used the Screen Queen. Um, I like this concealer. It is getting a little bit on the old side at this point in time. It's a good concealer, but it doesn't blend like how, exactly how I want it to, although that could have been the foundation too. I'm t this week, this round was an absolute wreck. Like everything, nothing worked well together. So I don't ignore all of my opinions on that. And then when I started this round, I didn't have a cream bronzer because I didn't think I was gonna need one. And then the powder bronzer that I was using, I really ended up liking it, but it wasn't, it was so light, right? And I just, I needed something more. So I ended up pulling in 
the Milk Matte Bronzer in Blaze. This is a cream bronzer stick. Um, I really like this. It's really nice and it gives me a little bit more to go off of than the super light bronzer powder that I was using. Um, so I ended up pulling this in just literally a couple of days ago because I got to the point where I was like, I need, like, I can't see my own contour. Like, my face, no, I need something. So I pulled this in. It went great. For blush, for cream blush, uh, the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in Beach Babe. This is one that I'm trying to use up um, just on my own personal person. I still have this much left of it. Um, so I'm using it every day. I actually do really like it for a cream blush. This, again, is another one that's going pretty well for me. Um, but I'm just, this will go into the next round with me because I'm trying to work on it. Uh, for cream highlight, I had pulled in the Kaja Glowy Stamp in the Gleamy Shade. Okay, so this is K-Beauty. And I get that it's supposed to be very light and for like, you know, a no makeup day. I literally can't see this on my skin when I put it on and that drives me crazy and like you can kind of see it and I get like that's how it's supposed to be but it just I don't know I don't like it it I feel like I had to put on so much to get even like the the smallest shimmer of highlight <sighs> I'm not a big fan of it, um, and I've tried other stamping products like this, and I really like them. This one is just not my cup of tea. I'm just not its target audience, and I understand that. And also, like, the sponge is starting to lift up, and I don't fully get that. This one I'm going to go ahead and pass along, see if someone else would get more enjoyment out of it than I would, because this is just not... I'm not a target audience. It's not for me, um, so <laughs> we're just going to let that one go. And then I kept my powder face makeup in this drawer um, so for like the my setting powder I was using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use complexion powder in porcelain I have hard pan again you guys I wait so long I fan myself and I do my hair in between cream and powder products and I still get a massive amount of hard pan on my powder and I don't understand how I'll see my face dry it drives me crazy but this powder was really nice I liked it it was a good shade match for like across the board this round overall um, it was enjoyable and I will definitely look forward to using this in the future again another standout good one okay so powder bronzer or like the contour that I was talking about I used the Tarte Park F Princess Amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer. I really liked this. Oh my god. I really liked this, but it is like super light. Even on my skin tone, it's just so light that it barely shows up. I do like it, um, and I do plan on like using it in the future and everything. But again, like I really have to think about like the look that I wanted, and this time I wanted a bit more of a dramatic contour and not something as light as this. So it just didn't work out with the other products that I had chosen. For blush and highlight, I had pulled in the Ofra Island Time. Um, palette. This is a blush and highlight palette. This was nice, okay? Um, I mixed and matched blush shades. It's the four around the edge. I mixed and matched blush shades, which I think made like really pretty shades and I did like that and then this highlight shade in the center this wore down really weird because there's like this like rim here of powder and I don't quite know what that is but I like this palette this was gorgeous I definitely feel like this is more of a summertime palette which I had mentioned when I picked it out in my last video we were just gonna go for like a summertime vibe but of course with the eyeshadow palettes I picked that didn't happen so I really focused on like these kind of orange based tones and like mix and match a little bit and I like how it turned out this was a good one um, but that's you know just something to keep in mind. And then for the rest of eye makeup, I had two um, eyeliners. I had the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crown in Black or Emerald, the Urban Decay 24-7 Light on Eye Pencil in Mars. This is like a darker green, and this is more of like an actual emerald shade. Because I did a lot of like neutral looks, a lot of cool tone looks, and then a lot of looks with the green shades in the Triochrome palette, uh, these were perfect the entire round. Um, I don't think next time I would get two green ones. This is like so green that it's almost black, so it kind of works for me, but I definitely am ready for like a little bit of a change up. But obviously both of these formulas are fantastic. I liked both of them. Um, I used for li like cream liquid liner, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills waterproof cream color in Jet. I hadn't gotten a chance to like use this before, um, so this is what I went for this round. And I don't know how I feel about it. I had good days and I had bad days. And I think that I need to play around with it even more so than I did uh, before I can really give you guys an opinion on it because I honestly don't know how I feel about this one and it genuinely it could go either way so I'm gonna continue playing around with this one um, and we'll kind of see and then for mascaras 
I'm still using the same mascara as I was. I did use the Ofra HD Volumizing Mascara in a Get Ready With Me Trying Out New Products that I did on Instagram, I think. Instagram, maybe TikTok, I don't remember. Um, so I pulled this one in too. No changes. I mean, they're still holding up strong and I've talked about them a lot so I won't bore you again. Okay for lip products, um, the Dose of Colors lip liner I was using I finished so that one is gone and I ended up replacing it and I just went with the most simplest choice that I had which was the Illamasqua coloring pencil in raw. This was my lip liner um, a couple rounds ago so easy peasy. It's a very like just neutral shade goes with a lot of stuff. Um, so I finished that off and then I finished off the NYX lip primer that I was working on. That one I ended up finishing off way quicker than I thought I was going to, um, but I liked it. I'll talk more about that in my next empties video, which is coming up at the beginning of October. For my actual lip products, I had chosen three. I'm in the middle of reorganizing my lip drawers, so I don't know how many I'm going to be choosing this round, but um, in the future, I'm going to be choosing four because of how I'm going to have them organized. Um, so I chose three this time, though. I chose the Flesh Lipstick. This is in the shade Chew. This is the one that I'm wearing today. This is fabulous. It's such a nice, just like everyday lipstick. It is very creamy, so it is really easy to make a mess with it, but I really enjoy this formula. I like the shade, this all around winner. Um, I had the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Cream Matte Liquid Lip in Love Drop. This was my favorite from this round. And I know that sounds weird because I just raved about the flesh, but this is so pretty. This was such a gorgeous, like red, you know, but it was almost like a berry red. I loved this so much. So this is the winner of this round. Um, this is my favorite for sure. The only complaint that I have with this is as it wore down, it wore down a little patchy. So you have to be like really good about reapplying it, which I'm not the best at reapplying throughout the day. But all in all, this was my favorite. And then I also had the Nabla Viper Lip Plumper. I did use this a couple of times. Um, this burns like... I know lip plumpers burn, but this one, <laughs> this one was pretty bad. And it's very, like, very uncomfortable to wear. And, like, the Too Faced lip injection is comfortable to me. This is not super comfortable. So I'm going to continue to play around with it in the future. But I did not love it as much as I was hoping to love it this time. I don't know. And then, last but not least, my setting spray. <laughs> this is the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. I, you guys can see. Um... I hate this with a fiery passion. First of all, I don't think it works. I don't think it makes my makeup last any longer. Second of all, it, my makeup just looks cakey. And I know that that's like a mixture of a lot of the products just like combined together, but I really don't think that this helps. I'm convinced that this is like a huge part of it. And third of all, the scent of this, I'm not, no, I don't like it. Um, again, I, I'm probably going to use it up because that's what I try to do. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this though, you guys. It, I don't like this at all. So we're going to kind of have to see how the future goes. I really don't know. All in all, it was a very interesting couple of weeks. Um, I, <laughs> I'm so, I'm just, I'm so happy to be done with this fucking round, okay? And let's go get new makeup because we need something. I need something. I need something new in my life. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first thing we are picking out is face palettes. I'm going to pick from the bottom shelf this time on my three shelf system here and I really want something <laughs> just something exciting you know what I mean I'm just so ready you know what oh my god yes okay I'm gonna pull out the Dominique Cosmetics transition palette you guys I purchased this I have yet to use it I am so unbelievably excited about it and this it's perfect it's just so perfect so I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. This excites me. Um, I'm really excited about it, actually. And this I can use for face products and eye products. It's supposed to be like an all-in-one universal palette. So yes, okay, that was easy. Okay, so now we're going to talk about face makeup. Uh, well, some of the face makeup. We're going to jump around here a little bit. But this is my primer and color corrector drawer. Obviously, I have a lot, and I'm not picking out a primer, but I am going to go ahead and pick out a color corrector. And I really want to work on finishing off some of these Urban Decay ones because they are so so close to being empty so I'm just going to pull out the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in yellow. These are also discontinued so I really need to work on getting these out of my collection. And then if you can see my mess on the floor just ignore it. I've got like all of my subscription boxes and last few hauls stacked up because I'm taking pictures and like making piles of things that I want to use in TikToks and Instagram, like reels and posts and things like that. So just ignore the mess. Um, but this is concealer and foundation. And honestly, I have had this for a while now and I have not gotten a chance to use it. This is the Bite 
Change Maker uh, Supercharged Micellar Foundation in L30, and I really want to give this a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, trying to just add a little bit of excitement in my face makeup, and hopefully that works. And then for concealer, I just got this. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer, and again, just something that I've been wanting to try. So I'm gonna pull out these this round, and hopefully they work well together. Now I'm just kind of nervous. In this drawer, I have my eye primers and my brow products. I might still change how this drawer is laid out. I haven't figured that out yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull one out of here for eye primers. I really don't know what to use. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. I've used this in the past and I've actually really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out because I know that this works well for me and it covers up any like discoloration on my eyelids. So that'll be good. And then also for brows, oh my goodness. What did I use last time? I used a powder. I think I'm gonna go with a pencil this time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is the El Maquillage Brow Pen in Espresso. This one is actually pretty nice if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this brow pencil and hopefully I'm not misremembering and hopefully it is a really good brow pencil. My eyeliner drawer um, I did reorganize. So now this has eyeliners, lashes, and mascaras and I really like how it's laid out. So I'm going to do what I always do and just kind of reach in and grab one at random. These are the um, neutral colored eyeliners. These are the colored eyeliners. I'm spilling over. Oh my goodness. And then these are liquid and then I've got cream. So I'm gonna do a liquid this time since I did kind of a cream last time. Actually, this could work. Okay, so I've got the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Boss. I've actually used this one quite a bit lately and it just kind of keeps popping up, which I'm not complaining about because I really like this eyeliner. Um, so I'll be more than happy to take that. And then I have the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in Orange Zest. This one is like worn down, but we'll go ahead and pull it out because I'm expecting to do some more like fall type looks this round. And then I pulled out the NYX Epic Wear um, liquid eyeliner in white. This was a TikTok recommendation and I honestly, I have kind of a, a vision in mind of the looks that I'm gonna do this round and this works perfectly with that. So I'm gonna pull this out, but I'm also gonna pull out the Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Liner um, just to have a nice regular liner and this looks like it might be drying out. So we'll see how it goes, but this might actually work out pretty decently for me. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so I actually had to go through my collection to figure out exactly what I was looking for. And I landed on this, the Urban Decay Naked Smoky. Um, I really want just a nice smoky eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. I wanna do some smoky looks. And I feel like this is gonna be one of my best bets. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for this round. And then next, I kind of want something with a little more color, but I don't quite know what I want. I'm debating, well, or I'm debating between a neutral, but I feel like smoky is like, I could do some neutral looks with that. So I don't know what I want at all. I think I'm going to end up going with something from this shelf right here. I need to do another declutter because like that's gotta go, you guys. It's gotta go. I think I'm gonna go with... What is this one? This is the Queen by Eloise. And I don't think I've used this palette yet. Okay, that's got some really nice berry tones and stuff in it. It looks different than what I was planning on picking out this round, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one out because this one kind of stuck out to me, it grabbed my interest. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one for this round as well. Okay, now moving on to the rest of the drawers. This is my oversized drawer. Um, I think I'm gonna do a like loose powder again, but I honestly don't know. What is that? Oh, that's the banana powder that I picked up. I think I'm gonna go with this big Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I've used this before, obviously, um, and I really liked it. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this one out because this is, again, like an old classic. I know that I like it. And we've got a good mix of like new products and some classics in here, and this is just a good addition to that. For face powder, I am still gonna pick one out even though I have that transition palette. 
Um, I'm still probably just going to pick out like a full face of, of um, regular face makeup because I don't know exactly how that transition palette is going to work. So for this time, I think I'm going to go very plain, very simple. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I have the Bite Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder in Light 1. I'm just going to go with this. I've used this before, obviously, and I've hit a lot of hard pit on it that I've scraped most of it out. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try this with the foundation that it goes with. See how that works. Okay, so like I said, I haven't quite figured out um, how the transition palette is going to work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out a full face of makeup. I really want to try out these KKW Beauty um, contour sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. And then I'm going to pull out a powder contour just in case because I need to play around, around with that palette and see how I like it. So because of that, I'm going to go old school with my old favorite, the Fiona Styles Bronzing, Bronzing Sun Veil in Ahiko. Um, obviously, I am a really big fan of this. So we're going to go ahead, try out these products see if we can make something work and then hopefully between this and the transition palette we'll have a good contour this round blushes I am skipping cream blush because I obviously already have one so I just want a nice fall blush and I think I'm gonna go with that's a cream blush which one of these is like more fall? Yes. Okay. This is the Balm In Stain in Houndstooth. This is like a long wearing um, powder stain in like a blush form. Very pretty for fall. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out because again, old favorite. I know it works. I know it's reliable and I just need to have makeup wins this week. And then for highlight, I'm really debating if I want to do like a cream highlight and I think that I do, but I think I'm going to go with something like this. Oh no, or like this. Yes, this is the Iconic London Illuminator, and this is the original one. You guys, this is so pretty, and I desperately want something like this in my life. I'm going to go with this, and then I'm going to go with the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light Highlight. I don't know why, but I just feel like combined, these two are going to be so beautiful. And again, if not, I have the transition palette. I'm sure I can make it work. This is semi-new. I got this a few months ago, but I haven't used it yet. Same with the Iconic London, actually. So we'll play around with it. And we'll see what we think about them. So like I said before, um, I'm redoing my lip drawers. So for this round, I will only be picking out three lip products. And then in the future, I'll be picking out four. But for this round, we're going to stick with three. Um, I did a lip gloss last time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out a lip pencil. And then next time, I'm going to have one of each. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and take this ColourPop lippy stick in the poison shade. I just want like a really nice, dark, vampy shade. And I feel like this is perfect for that. Okay, liquid lipsticks in this in the grand scheme of having a nice mix of things that I don't normally use or new things and then old classic favorites and also <laughs> trying to use up some stuff before it goes bad. Um, I'm really debating here because I have my Fenty Uncuffed Stunna Lip Paint that I love, but I also have a couple of these KVD Vegan Beauty uh, like lip vinyls and like this really pretty gray and black shade. And I love these for doing like gorgeous smoky eyes. I think I am going to go ahead and pull this one out. This is in latex and it's so stunning. So I'm going to pull out these two so far and then I'll probably do like a more neutral lipstick. Okay, for lipstick, I want something more kind of neutral looking and I think I'm going to go with this shade. That's a little too red or is it? I don't know because I actually kind of liked that. No, that's too close. It's like a bit of a creamier version of the Poison shade. That's too summery for what I want. That's too red. Oh my goodness. What about this? Perfect. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pull out this one. This is a Laura Mercier lipstick. It is the Cream Smooth Lip Color in Lychee Parfait. And it is this swatch right here. Um, so it's a good little mix. Obviously, I'm not taking this lip shade in, but these two lip shades and then the latex shade, I think will be a good mix. Okay, and then my lip liners right now are currently just on my floor because I moved them to a different organizer that is going to go on top of the drawer set and I haven't put it up there yet. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple. Um, I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty 
Line and Define Lip Primer. Um, I got this in a trend mood box and I'm trying to use up my lip primers because I much prefer lip liners and I'm really learning that about myself. Plus the lid on this one is cracked so I feel like the sooner I use it up the better. Um, but in addition to that because I like lip liners I'm gonna pull out a lip liner. This is the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in Nude and I just really tried to find a nude shade that I could use with pretty much anything. Hopefully this works well for me but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. And then finally last but not least um, for setting spray I reached in grabbed a random one like I do. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist the set the scene. Uh, I like this one and I think that this is like my newer one. Oh, it's just, I know that I like this setting spray. So I'm really happy with this because after that Beauty Blender one, I need like just a good basic setting spray that I know that I enjoy. So all in all, hopefully this round goes way better than the last round did because the last round was just a freaking nightmare. Um, but let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been using, what you guys have been loving. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me and more of my Shop My Stashes and various other videos that I do. Hopefully, cross your fingers, this round goes better than last round. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll catch you next time. Have a great one.